Hi, let us solve problems about torque. From my last video, you have learned that you can get the same amount of torque, with a small amount of force, but a bigger radius. You learned that, you can wisely choose where to hold the wrench, to get the greatest amount of torque, without exerting extra force. And, that it is the reason why, doorknobs are located on the edge of the door. In this video, you will now learn, how to solve problems about torque. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let us try to solve this problem. Consider the door shown in the figure, which is seen, from an aerial view. The circle on the left is the hinge. A. Find the net torque acting on the door. And, B. Figure which way the door will open, is it up, or down? To answer these questions, let us first recall the equation, torque is equals to the product of force and radius. But, for this problem, notice that, one of the forces has an angle. Upon seeing this, do not panic because we can still solve the problem easily. For this angled force, we simply need to add, sine theta, to complete our equation. Sine theta, is originally included in the equation. Because, we need to consider the direction of the force, applied on the object. But, since applied force is usually perpendicular to the object, theta is usually equal to 90 degrees. Thus, because sine 90 degrees is equals to 1, it is normally excluded in the formula. And it is simply written as torque equals force times radius. Going back to the problem, let us answer letter A. And find the net torque acting on the door. So, what is net torque? Net torque, is the algebraic sum, of all the torques, acting on an object. In this figure, we can find, 1, 2, 3, 4 forces, which also means there are also 4 torques. The net torque, will be the algebraic sum of these 4 torques. Let us now solve for the individual values of the torques. For torque 1, our equation will be, D1 equals, F1 times R1 times sine theta then we can write d1 is equals the force which is equals to 60 newtons times 0 because there is no distance between the hinge and the force since the force is applied exactly on the hinge times sine 90 because the force is applied perpendicular to the hinge solving this we get torque 1 is equals to 0 newton meter let us solve torque 2 for torque 2 T2 is equals to, F2, which is 50 newtons, times, 0.2 meters, which is the distance between the force and the hinge, times, sine 90, because the force is applied perpendicular to the door. Finally, we can solve for T2 and get 10 newton meters. Let us solve for T3. T3 is equals to 70 newtons, times, 0.2 meters plus 0.6 meters which came from the distance of F3 from the hinge, times, sine 90, because the force is applied perpendicular to the door. Finally, we can solve for the value of T3, which is 56 newton meters. Let us solve for T4. T4 is equals to 80 newtons, times, 0.2 meters plus 0.6 meters plus 0.2 meters, which is the distance of F4 from the hinge times, sine 30, because the force F4 is applied at 30 degrees on the door. Finally, we solve for T4, which is 40 newton meters. Now that we have the values of the four individual torques, we can now solve for the net torque. The net torque will be equals to, 0 newton meter, plus 10 newton meters, plus 56 newton meters, plus 40 newton meters. But wait, this is not the final equation yet. Remember that, net torque is the algebraic sum of all the torques. So, we need to consider the direction of the forces, either downward, upward, or at an angle. Because F1 is downward, D1 is negative, T2 is positive, T3 is negative, and T4 is positive. All signs according to the direction of the forces. Now, we can write the final equation. Net torque is equals to, negative 0 newton meter, plus 10 newton meters, minus 56 newton meters, plus 40 newton meters. This will give us a net torque of, negative 6 newton meters. From this, we'll also be able to answer question letter B. 
which asks whether the door will open upward or downward. If you can remember, earlier, we assigned all forces going upward with a positive sign, and the forces going downward with a negative sign. Since the value of the net torque is negative, the forces acting on the door will give the door a net torque of negative 6 newton meters, and will open downwards. Hello! Hi Sally! We just finished solving problems on torque. I hope you guys learned something today. Click subscribe and stay tuned for my next video.